Hey guys, it's Mike at SB Reef Lights. Gonna take a minute and go over the new Wi Fi app. It's currently only available on the Ultra 57. It will also be on the Ultra 70 around the first of the year. And at some point, we will be switching it into the rest of the Ultra line. Right now, we also have put it in the new 18 inch S Box models as well. So there's two ways to get the new app. I uh, know immediately we're going to get questions, how do I put it in my old light? And one of the reasons it took us so long to come out with the new app is I had to have something that was backwards compatible for people who already owned our lights. As you guys know, we're budget reefers, and the last thing we want to do is make people have to buy a new light so that they have the newest gadget. We also don't make money on upgrades like that as well. So when the module is available, it will be at cost plus shipping, and the app is free. In fact, you guys can download the app now and start playing with it in advance. Um, so anyway, pretty cool overall. We really like the app. It's got some uh, features in it that I'm not a real big fan on, and I'll tell you a bit in a minute. Uh, but overall, it's definitely a home run, and to be honest, features I don't like you guys will probably love. Uh, but again, uh, at some point, I'm hoping by the end of the year, once current demand for the 18-inch and new Ultras has uh, kind of normalized, at that point, we'll have uh, overstock of the modules and be able to start shipping them directly to previous customers. So Again, uh, don't bother emailing, Facebooking, calling. Uh, they will not be available until we put them up on the website as being available. And when they are, they will be at cost plus shipping. And um, it'll be a very inexpensive uh, upgrade. And we'll also make a video on how to do it. So uh, moving forward, looking at the uh, new Ultra 57 and also the 18-inch, if you need to find the app, simply scroll down until you see the QR code. And then for iOS, you're going to scan that half. For Android, scan that half. At that point, you're going to download the app. If for some reason that does not work for you, uh, simply go into the Google Play Store or iTunes Store and find Aquatic Light Smart Controller. And that will also work. And once it's downloaded, that'll be the main screen that you're going to see. And so you've got some basic options here. The first option uh, is going to be manual setting and here you've got four or three channels depending on which light you have and you can control them manually at any point in time so if a buddy comes over for the day and you want to take it off the ramping program and show them say the light with nothing but uh, blue come on my fingers are too fat there we go and the UV channel you can certainly do that I'm going to cheat and use this uh, stylus here since my fingers don't want to work too well. Um, so anyway, that's manual mode. It's fairly straightforward, not a lot to it. Um, if we go back to the main menu, we now have a cloudy setting. And what this will do is run the ramping program, but at the same time, you can determine how quickly and how bright those clouds are. And so it'll be a rolling cloud cover throughout the day. You can tell it what time of day to start, what time to end. And again, this is addition to the regular ramping program. So it's kind of neat in terms of being able to look at your tank throughout the day and have a different look throughout the day. For me, I've always been against weather effects and lights. I put this in reluctantly based on consumer demand. Um, so we do do what you like us to do. However, no coral ever sat on the top of a reef and said, gosh, I wish it was cloudy, I'm getting too much sunlight. Um, same thing with the lightning effect I'm gonna show you in a minute. It scares the fish, but it's wicked cool when your buddies come over, hey, look what my tank can do. But I would certainly not recommend the lightning and permanent um, rotation on your ramping program. Cloudy's kinda cool, again, just so you have that different aesthetic throughout the day. The clouds don't last long, so you're not really uh, diminishing par levels that much. You'll also notice that there's some moving backgrounds on here. You can actually upload your own backgrounds to this as well, which is, I guess, kind of cool if you're into phones and things like that. Um, if we go back, we now have the lightning effect. And again, we're going to change the brightness and then the speed of how fast it goes. You can preview it on the light before you save it and you can also enable it or disable it. So you can have the setting you like, leave it off, and then when a buddy comes over, just real quickly go, hey, watch me scare the fish. Uh, again, pick your start time, your end time, you hit save, and it's pretty straightforward. So sunrise and sunset, you're probably not gonna use a whole lot, uh, but basically you can decide what time the light turns on, what time it turns off, if you want a fast ramp or a slow ramp, and then it'll do the rest for you. Um, the issue with this right now is in terms of setting the peak levels 
uh, you really can't do that in this particular part of the app. We're looking at fixing that, and when we do, it'll be a new version of the app that'll download for free. So again, not something you're going to do because for part of the day, you'll be completely blasting the light. Instead, you're actually going to be going into the next screen, which will be the sunrise sunset, I'm sorry, the timing settings. Before we do that, if you go into settings, this is going to give you some other things. You can change the name of the, the light, so you can, uh, you can connect to multiple lights simultaneously, but you have to program each one, so you have to pick which one you want to change. But still, a lot nicer than the old version, which you needed a router. Uh, you can change the time and date. Uh, you can change temperature control for when the fans turn on or off. Uh, you can do demo modes. Um, current number of channels right now, it says five. And so we can set it to four channels instead, which would be more appropriate for this light. Or if you're on a S box, you would go to three channels. Um, restore factory settings. That will delete all your programs. So you don't necessarily want to do that as well, okay? So anyway, just where the settings are. And so now I'm going to go into the, the timer screen, which will change to landscape. So you have to turn the phone. And I'm going to go through how to make settings on this.